Just in case you missed it, last time on Frugal Couple. She was like, if I remember correctly, that's how you get salmonella. I was like, what? <laughs> I said, no, 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 say what now? All right, guys, welcome back to another small haul. So we are just leaving the store here. Wanted to show you what we got. We have three of these 10 for 10 beef patties. I always call them 10 for 10 because that's how our store sells them. You get 10 patties for $10. So we got a 10 pack here and this meat is so good. Like I love their beef. So have this. So we have that. We have another one. So, so far we're already up to 20 patties. Okay, and then we have one more here. So now, just that quick, we got 30 patties. That is not bad. So then we have some chicken wings. Got some chicken wings here. And each pack looks like it has about five or six in here. One, two, three. I'm thinking six. So about five or six in here. And we have four packs of these total. So we were just at the store maybe two minutes all of this was in one box. Babe just picked it up and ran it over to the car. And this is what we have, y'all. Two minutes, not even two minutes, maybe more like 45 seconds. Let's say 45 seconds and we get this. This is 30 hamburger patties, 6, 12, 18, 24, probably about 24 chicken wings. You can have a cookout. You could have multiple meals for your family. How long would this last you? 30 patties, 24 chicken wings. Let me know down below. But yes, this is our haul. Not a huge haul, but still a good haul. I am about to make some really, really, really quick chicken wings with this. I may go ahead and add it in the video to show you how I make it. It is so lazy. Trust me. But I am super busy. We're going out of town tomorrow. Heading to Fayetteville. So, hey to all of our Fayetteville, Arkansas subscribers. We are heading your way. But, yeah, so I have a million things that I need to do. And I will, um, yeah, I, I really would have liked to stop and get something to eat. But we actually got some stuff last night from McDonald's. So we didn't want to eat out today. So I'm just going to make such a quick and easy meal. I think I'll actually show you guys how I do it. So maybe this won't be a weekly small haul. Maybe this will be a haul plus what I make with one of it. So keep watching. Alrighty guys, so I'm just starting off with some already washed chicken. I know some people don't wash their chicken. I know some people do, you know, totally up to you. I just like to wash mine just because it's kind of the way that I was raised. Now you will notice in this video, I wash my hands a million times. I am one of those people, if I'm dealing with chicken, every time I finish doing something, I have to wash my hands. A lot of times I will season in the package after I've already washed it. Sometimes I will just get a bowl and that's basically what I did this time. So yeah, this is just kind of my lazy air fryer chicken. I'm gonna show you what I'm using. First off, this is a little chicken bouillon. If you've never used chicken bouillon on your chicken, I know it sounds crazy, do it, trust me. It kicks it up to a totally different flavor and it doesn't make it salty. So I'm going in with chicken bouillon. Also going to be going in with some onion powder. Also my little secret weapon, I have some Saison Goya powder. And this stuff is so good. It's just like a regular seasoning. You can put it on. It gives your food a different flavor. Now keep in mind, I am West Indian, Haitian to be exact. So this is something I grew up with, but you can find this anywhere and it's so good. Okay guys, so of course I had to add some parsley to it. I like to add a little bit of parsley while it's cooking and then also a little bit once it's done just to give it a little, you know, color, especially using that um, sazon, your chicken kind of comes out a little orange. So it's so pretty when you put those green specks on it. So I give it a little mix and this is how it is turning out. And then I was like, okay, this is good, but listen, 
let's kick it up one more notch. So I kind of had a taste for some like sweet and savory wings. So I added some honey and you guys will recognize this. This was from, I believe the haul that we did at Aldi's and I'm just putting like, you know, just drizzling some on top. And then I'm going in with my Heinz 57. I thought this would be such a good combo. And I did basically the same thing and gave it a great mix again, just to make sure the honey and the sauce was on everything. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you put that sauce in there, definitely watch it. That sauce will kind of burn if you're not watching it. So what I did is like every five minutes, six minutes, I just went in and kind of flipped my chicken over and it gave it a beautiful crust. And listen, I forgot, well, I didn't forget. I lost all the footage of when it was done, but y'all, so we're just gonna call this video how I season my chicken. But y'all, it was so freaking good. I ate one and I was like, oh my gosh, girl, you did that. So anyway, I could bake it, but I have just become addicted to using this air fryer. The little um, bottom barrel thing is so big. I'm able to fit quite a bit on there. So I was like, why not? So as you see, I'm putting it on. I'm also kind of mopping up that sauce. And once I get all the chicken in there, I am gonna pour that sauce over it. That's totally optional. And I know sometimes when you're kind of maneuvering the chicken and laying it in, some of your seasonings may go off. So I'm just gonna add a little more onion powder and also a little more garlic powder just to season it right over the top. I'm not gonna add any more salt to it though. So we're just gonna pop this in and I just basically use my chicken setting that's already on my air fryer. I think it cooks at around 360, 20 to 25 minutes. Sometimes I add a little bit of time to it. It turns out great. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Definitely comment down below. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Hey, so the people that stayed all the way to the end, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I was going to say be on the lookout because we definitely have some moving updates coming soon. You guys know we're in the process of moving. That's why the videos have been super sporadic. So sorry about that. But just to catch you up, if you have not been called up before, let me catch up real quickly. We found a house. It was hard and it was crazy during this time, but we found one. We will be moving during the days of like the 7th through the 9th type situation so we've been super MIA sorry we're trying to get in this new house and once we get there we won't have internet for a couple of days so I'm trying to feed pre-film some videos for you so yeah definitely be on the lookout for that thank you guys for watching I will just see you in the next video bye guys